Okay, subtracting that number. Everybody knows what it is. And then I'll show you once again how we can do this uh, simply by drawing the largest decimal first and then taking the decimal and the largest decimal and the expanded form. So uh, remember in subtraction, we just draw the largest number and so then we have $5.90 is greater than $2.94. So um, my Whole numbers are represented by 100 blocks. Um, and then I just have 3 cents. So make sure that you pay attention to what place value that is. That's in the hundredth place. So that would just simply be um, three, 3 cents there. If I was going to break this down, it would be 5 holes plus uh, 0 tenths plus... Um, three hundredths and then it would be two holes plus nine tenths plus four so a uh, hundredths so when I look at that oops subtraction okay um I cannot take four cents away from three cents or four hundredths from three hundred so I have uh something that I need to do and so the first thing um I'm gonna need to do is if I'm looking uh, I don't have any tenths to help me out here. So I have to go straight to the hundredths place. And so when I take that hundred, um, I'm not taking it away. I'm simply changing it and breaking it apart um, into tenths. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So now I have plenty of tenths. And now I have to take one of these tenths and I have to break it down into hundredths. I'm going to take that. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to look at ten hundredths here and I just needed to take away four so one two three four and so I'm left with nine there and so what does this look like here well um, I go to the tenths place there's nothing there so I change this to four holes this changes to ten tenths um, and ultimately then I need to change the tenths into one so I'm gonna uh, now I'm left with um, nine tenths and this turns into um, 13 okay so what's left uh, nine or 13 minus four is nine hundredths okay uh, then I need to take away um, nine tenths well, it's perfect because I already broke apart a hole to give me the 10 dimes. And so um, I have nine left. And so all nine of those disappear. And so I'm left with zero in the tenths place once again. And then four uh, take away two. Looks like that. And so my answer is two and nine. Um, nine hundredths or two dollars and nine cents okay so it gets pretty complicated um let's try it uh, uh our number line model remember it uh, it's subtraction you can either add up or you can go backwards so we will start by first going backwards so you take your largest number you put it over here five dollars and three cents and we have to subtract uh, $2.94. So I'm going to go ahead and subtract the whole number first. So minus 2 uh, would give me, um, or you can even do minus $2, and that would be uh, $3.03. So I'm going to mark out 2 immediately. Um, and then I'm going to go ahead and subtract that 3 cents so I can get a dollar. So minus three cents and so I'm at an even three dollars which is a much easier to work with but I still have a penny left so make sure that you don't you keep track of what you have left so you have a penny left now I can subtract that 90 uh, that 90 cents and that's going to leave me with uh, three dollars and ten cents um, and then minus that one um, Minus that one penny is going to leave me with three dollars. Um, three dollars and oh, sorry, this is actually two dollars and ten cents. 
when you subtract 90, it's $2.10, and so this would be $2.09. See? Teachers even make mistakes. Um, but make sure that you're keeping track of what you're subtracting. Okay, so then we have the other way, the other number line, adding up. This is my favorite way. It's you're less likely to make a mistake. Um, so $2.94 on this side, or $5.03 on this side, and then we would just simply try and get to this point. So um, I know that I need six more cents here. Six more cents to make an even th $3. And then I need to get to $5, so that's an easy jump. So plus $2 uh, gets me to $5. And then I just have to add the three cents. So plus uh, three cents. And so my answer is two dollars plus six cents plus three cents is two dollars and nine cents. Okay. And then finally, uh, you have the standard algorithm for subtraction. Like I said, this is where a lot of people make a lot of mistakes. And so you need to be careful if this isn't working for you um, and make sure the first trouble is just making sure that you are subtracting um, the correct place value so make sure that everything is lined up for your place value um, i know that i cannot take four away from three it's impossible but when i go next door there is nothing to regroup so i have to start in the hundreds place and that becomes um, or the ones place and that becomes a four and so then this becomes a ten um, but then I need it I need it over here so this then becomes a nine and this becomes a 13 when I move mine at 13 um, and I take away four I get nine and then nine minus nine is zero and then four minus two is uh, two actually I don't know why I even did that so two oh nine is like in addition you have to make sure that you know uh, the place values and so like let's say i just made this uh five you have 5.3 and you're subtracting one uh 97 um you know that this ra this decimal is bigger because it's the ones place and so you have to put that invisible zero there and so i have nothing there so i cannot take away seven so I have to go here, and this becomes a 2, and then this becomes a 10. So 10 minus 7 is 3. I don't have enough here, so I have to go next door, get 10 more. 12 minus 9 um, is also 3, and then 4 minus 1 is 3. There you go, $3.33. So just be mindful of what decimal is the larger decimal before you start the subtraction process like i said this is not the ideal way i would actually prefer everybody um using this method but if you're not comfortable with it then don't use it